So, I guess on uh, to... Main the, event, the six-pack challenge. Right. Chris Jericho, which, okay. Edge. Yeah, Chris Sheamus, Jericho, Edge, Sheamus, Barrett, Randy Cena, Orton, and Cena. Blah. Orton. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, you, you, we were supposed to, you know, uh, never mind. Anyway. The, the most, the saddest, most heartbreaking moment of the night. Wow. Three Jer- minutes. Jericho got pinned succumbs first. To our, to, succumbs to an RKO. And, and the yeah. arena just shuts up. And this is what was really funny, or not funny, but kind of cool, was that everybody in the ring was just like, oh shit, Jericho's gone. And as he's walking down the ramp, they all just like, they're not fighting each other. They're just staring at him as he walks up the ramp and, and turns the corner and leaves. As if they're surpri- oh, as, surprised. As, as if they're like, wait, that wasn't in the script. <laughs> you know, or something like But it's just, it, it's nice that they gave him a little bit of a send off. Right. Which I think they gave. I mean, it's a shit send off because he did nothing but lose constantly and get shit storylines and right. and then you know he did put people over on the way. Oh well, yeah, he put people John over, Morrison, but it's Evan like Bourne, blah, blah, you know blah, blah. There, you can put somebody out without making them look like a tool. You know, like if he lost, if he was the last one out, mm-hmm. then it's like oh he was so close, but oh now no he's cigar. gone. Yeah, but no, he was in the match for three minutes. Yeah. He'll, and I think the only reason why it was booked that way is because he'll be back. Yeah, once Fozzie's his, going. When, Fozzie, his band is going on a tour. Once Fozzie's uh, over with, hopefully he'll be back. Hopefully they'll put him on SmackDown where he won't have to compete with fifteen other guys for the main event. Right. Um, but okay, uh, we all knew Edge was going to go quickly. Right. Um, I thought Edge was going first. I I swapped. The two people. Yeah, I would have. I wouldn't mind seeing Edge going first. Right. But I have to say, Edge. I've been tolerating him a lot more lately because I, I like the funny heel edge. Me too. When he's like super serious, he's boring as shit. Yeah. Because he has no personality. But when they let him be he, funny... He's Drew McIntyre when that happens. Yeah. Teddy. <laughs> Get on your knees, Teddy. Right. <laughs> Sadly, that's actually a pretty solid impression. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so Edge was gone. And then, shockers... Right. Cena. Cena goes out. Cena was the third one out. Well, Nexus running... Which oh, actually obviously. didn't really impact the match at all. Mm-mm. It wasn't it was a huge... Kind of it was mostly distraction, right. And then Barrett, uh, Wasteland, terrible name for a finisher. It's just a fireman's carry slam. Get a new but finisher. it looks fucking vicious. It does, but... I'm sorry. It, it looks okay. It looks like you don't get up from that. Like, there's some match- some moves that look impressive. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like... Uh, <sighs> not attitude adjustment. Well, not the attitude adjustment, but like... Things like the zigzag looks impressive. The right. code breaker looks impressive. Well, it's right. not doesn't look impressive, but you go, ooh, that could hurt. Yeah. This is a, that could fucking hurt somebody. Right. You Look. land that wrong, that fucking hurts somebody. Case in point, Mark Henry. Jesus oh, Christ, God. that was crazy. But, but anyway, so he hits Wasteland and Cena's gone. And, and I think it was like the entire <laughs> arena got punched in the gut. <laughs> So it was because I don't think they realized that was gonna. Ha- it was just like I I was happy obviously because Cena was gone because that means oh look he's not gonna win but it's right. just kind of like a wow that's a ballsy move you took Cena out and he wasn't the last one holy right. crap you know right. so um that's pretty pretty sweet so uh, funniest moment of the entire night was Baird and Orton are staring each other down mm-hmm. and Nexus pops up and the, and the cameras. Pointing at just the ring, and you see right. just like I think it's Heath Slater's back because he's always the one that gets hit. Right. Oh, you see just <laughs> right. you, see, you can catch just Heath Slater's back, and then out of nowhere you see this chair just come and just start walloping him, and it like, oh, pans it's, out, and you see Cena oh, just Johnson. wrecking the shit out of him with a chair, and he just takes Nexus out with a chair, and I was just like, that was funny as hell because he was really just kind of like, oh you motherfuckers, you ruined me for the last time, right? Like without you found me for the last time, Starscream, <laughs> with without actually Sorry. cursing it out, but. You could see him where he was just kind of like, I'm going to hit you with a chair, damn it! Right. So that was funny as hell. That was really funny. And then, um, Let's then see. Orton RKO's Barrett. And he's done. And uh, uh, Orton took out half of the fucking yeah. thing. So he continued, surprise, fucking surprise. He, he continued so. his streak of just destroying everybody Ever. that with he one. felt like it. Right. Um, Great. So then it's down to Sheamus and Orton. And... Sheamus, I went in thinking, oh, she- this is where Sheamus wins, because he comes right. in, bro kick. Right. 
Uh, yeah, I thought... Clean as a whistle, right like, to the face. Like, oh, and then, bop, kick out. And then he kicked out. And, and Sheamus is like, what the fuck? Yeah, it reminds me of the uh, the Undertaker face at WrestleMania 25. Bah! Oh! Yeah, that, that was funny as fuck. So, bro kick, kick out. He goes for the Celtic... Cr- no, the High Cross. High it's cross. not the Cel- Celtic Cross, because right. I think uh, Finley. Finley had that. Right. But he goes for the High Cross... Orton uh, gets out of it, hits the RKO, and wins. And talk about, I marked the fuck out totally. for the second time. Yeah, I, th- I think my uh, my Twitter feed just has a bunch of RKO on it. Yeah, it was RK. I tried to like say RKO like 50 times on Facebook, but it said, oh, and that last post was the, or the your, your, your <laughs> was status similar. update was the same as the last one. So I had to like do slight variations <laughs> of it. Right. But still, I got the point same across. Time. It was awesome. It was pretty sweet. This then, pay-per-view oof. ended on an extremely good point. Right. I'm it, really looking forward to Raw tonight. Yes. I'm really, looking forward to really Raw. Really I'm looking forward to Hell in a Cell because it, it, they finally got it through their fucking heads that it's like, okay, you don't leave everybody disappointed. Right. You can leave them going, oh, no. Mm-hmm. Shocked, worried, confused. Now but you don't leave them. You don't leave them going, oh, man. fuck this. Fuck this game. So, it's going to be interesting. This is actually the first pay-per-view, uh, WWE pay-per-view anyway, in a while, that you can look at the roster that was that was on the pay-per-view and go, where the fuck are they going next? Which is great. Yeah. That's, that's how you book. Unpredictability. Right. Like, we knew some of, we knew most, I'll say most, but right, sure. a lot of this, the uh, match outcomes. We knew what they were going to be. Right. But we, now we don't know where they're going with it. We know, oh, maybe a match or two, we kind of know, like, Taker Kane rematch, uh, Orton somebody rematch, probably Sheamus. Probably Sheamus. Um, We know now that Cena's going to go after the Nexus again, because he tweeted it. Right. Thanks, Um, thanks, (laughs) thanks, thanks, buddy. He's like, he's like, go see Legendary in, in stores. It'll be out on Tuesday. Oh, by the way, I hate Nexus. Lol. Yeah, Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's, (laughs) Um, that's, uh, we know that, um, uh, Daniel Bryan and Miz are nowhere close to being done. No, not at all. Um, but we don't know what exactly they're going to do. I don't exactly know what's next for Kofi Kingston. I don't uh, know who the next... Uh, I'm I, looking I forward to no SmackDown idea. for that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just go out on a whim and say Ziggler's next appointment is, is Caval. Uh, does he have a guaranteed title shot for something? He's supposed to. I okay. think I think that's kind of like the whole thing is you have a contract and a title shot at a pay-per-view. Okay. Um, so that makes sense. Um, I don't think they're going to do it too quickly because he's still kind of doing the whole lay cool thing. So right. I think they're just going to build him up. Um, like, you know, let him have well, He's matches. already 0 1. He lost to McIntyre. Um, he lost to McIntyre, but McIntyre was oh, more or less one of their. Thing. Well, no, he was more or less one of their top. He is one of their top guys on SmackDown. Sure, sure, sure. Um, you know, regardless of if he has a title or whether he's been winning or losing, he's like. He's kind of. He's their equivalent of a monster heel right now. Mm. Because, I mean, Kane's doing his thing in the main event, but in the mid-card, they don't really have a big guy. Right. Uh, Fire Greg Cully, because he doesn't count. Well, Greg Cully is not a heel. Um, That's who. Uh, what's his fuck, whose name I can never remember? Luke Gallows. He's I, more or less disappeared he's now, going, so he's, he's gone. He's, he's on Superstars. Um, so SmackDown, as far as a monster heel goes, is McIntyre because he's the he's the guy that's going to hurt people right. and find a way to get what he wants because he's the chosen one. Because he's the chosen. So, until, until Edge moves back to SmackDown. So you, see, you, I, you hear it here first. Just saying. Just saying. I think they should keep him on Raw, but uh, regardless, I don't know if they're going to feed Caval. Uh, uh, into a title program yet? I think they'll just let him go through, build up some matches, yeah, yeah, get, get some more first. support. I mean, he's really over already, mm-hmm. but he kind of needs that presence on SmackDown to go, kind of go. Okay, I'm on SmackDown now because I don't really think they ever came out and go. Caval is now on SmackDown. He just kind of kept showing up with right. like cool, and right. then you're like, oh, he's having a match. This is cool, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yay! But this does leave us with a striking question. What's that? We saw Caval. Mm-hmm. We saw Riley. Mm-hmm. Where are the McGilla buddies? Where are the McGilla buddies? I was waiting for it tonight, uh, last night, actually, just for something to happen. But no, no dice. I don't know where they. So be. hopefully we'll see McGilla buddy. They're at FCW hanging out, I guess, right. still doing whatever that good stuff is. But yeah, I'm actually looking forward to SmackDown just because it's like, okay, what the fuck are they gonna do now? Right. And I'm looking forward to Raw because it's like, all right, what the fuck are they gonna do now? Right. So uh, first time I've ever been shocked. I think lately. Um, except for like WrestleMania and stuff, but 
So yeah, should be good. Uh, anything else that we need to cover? Um, Cause we gotta go watch House now. House season premiere. Yay! I get to go render a video. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do that later. I'll do that while we're watching House and Smack and Raw. Cool. All right, that's it. Peace, bitches. Parts unknown. www.livefrompartsunknown.com where we pretend to write stuff and pretend to. No, be... No, we don't write stuff. No, we don't. Really write <laughs> we don't even do shit anymore. No, we don't. And we pretend. <laughs> but to be... we're doing now. Yeah, and then we're pretending to be uh, better bookers than actual bookers. We're not pretending. We know we are. Yeah, we're, we're done. We're better. <laughs> we're better than they are. Peace out.